<laughs> G'day folks, welcome to the market update for Rain and Horn and Zaccoli Aspire with the guys here. Do you have something to tell the guys? Titles oh, yes, are issued! <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say oh, oh, titles. <laughs> titles are issued, guys. So this is a very happy vlog that we've got going on here. Naturally, you've met uh, these two guys before. We've got uh, Hermanus Lau over on the uh, far right-hand side to you guys, and also Mike Shockman. Now, just want to uh, probably give you a little bit of an update. Obviously, you're going to be getting a, uh, pretty excited now about uh, building your home. But the guys just want to go through, obviously we've had a bit of uh, Facebook war back and forwards and different comments chatter. out, chatter out there uh, in regard to, you know, you guys are profuse liars. So uh, so as a consequence, we're giving the opportunity for you to tell why you weren't lying. Okay, oh, yeah. tell us what was going on out there, Mike. Well, I'll let Hermanus talk through some of the, you know, the last couple of days there's been some questions on why it's taken so long and we have titles now, so for stage 1B that is. Um, so I'll let him address some of those. I would like to start with um, the park. So as, as you've seen uh, recently in your recent drives through the estate at the end of a Bloodwood uh, Street there, the, the park's coming up really well. So that's a three level, uh, beautiful playground for kids. And, and uh, I told you Mike, the developer was excited about his playground. Well, uh, originally I thought, <laughs> what would my daughter like? And I use that as a benchmark for what we thought we'd build there. Um, of course, when you take your kids to the playground on a Saturday or Sunday, you need something for yourself, so we put the twin flying foxes in there for the for the parents to, for the fathers and mothers to race against each other. Probably more the fathers of Now before we move on from that, we did have a question on there, I think it was Serena, um, who was asking about uh, whether there would be barbecue facilities, things like that. Were, were, are we that far advanced on where that's going at the moment? Okay, so in <coughs> that part, in that particular playground in a Bloodwood, um, there's a picnic, there's a picnic facility, so we've got the, the shelter and the, and the tables there and the mm -hmm. grass grass areas. Um, the barbecue facilities we t you tend to put in uh, higher higher trafficable areas, in other words closer to the activity centres. Okay. Or, you know, so in that particular playground we've just stuck with the picnic the picnic area of the playground. Okay. Yeah. The, the, line, the design philosophy around all our parks will be to retire and, and as much as the natural uh, trees, that is, the, the big trees. So we have um, grass underneath it and we have lots of shade. So the people that want to, like Mark saying, picnic down there, You've got the shade structure, but you also have the ability to go and sit underneath the trees and enjoy shade. Let's, uh, that's fantastic, great stuff. Let's get on to some of the problems that the guys um, were obviously concerned about during the process, because this will be uh, cathartic for them, and also the, uh, the fact that it might be assisting future releases to understand what, what was going on in relation to um, you know, the so-called lies and different bits and pieces. <coughs> in response sure. to that, Hermann. Sure, look, I, I think we've <coughs> addressed the process a number of times on, on the blog and, and maybe a few through some of the posts we've, we've posted. But um, I guess for stage 1A and 1B specific, um, as, as we've said, there, there were some weather issues, there were some rock issues. Um, we've had to go through some, uh, some issues with, with consultants, which we've had to, to make some changes on. And obviously, um, the, the, we've now put a team in place to make sure that going forwards, we are clear in terms of our, our, our requirements, they're clear in terms of what they need to do. Um, and and we've, we're working together to, to get a streamlined design process and, and all the foundation out, all the construction processes out and then that parting process as soon as possible. So I, we, I think one of the biggest things in there that people were concerned, obviously we gave some time frames in the early stages. Yeah, that's right. And, um, and I mean those time frames we always stuck by, you know, X quarter in 2016 or, you know, the second quarter or whatever it was. Um, obviously they were a little bit for pushed back from where we were, probably the closest time frames we actually managed to stick to were around that eight week process on from 1A to 1B and we pretty much followed that, yeah. um, give or take a week or two. Those elements, I mean, a lot of the concerns were thrown out there that we were telling lies in relation to that specific process between, um, between uh, issuing certificates and getting us to actual titles. It, that stuff is outside our control, isn't it's it? A, it's a hard one because as soon as you get to practical completion, you know, a lot of what happens beyond practical completion is kind of out of our control because you then have your authorities coming on site and they ha may have requirements that they didn't notify you in the previous stage. You know, yeah. so it, it, it's dependent on who's out on the site for that, that day, you know, mm -hmm. having a look at stuff. And, you know, sometimes it's a big thing, sometimes it's a small thing that may be a defect that you need to rectify. And, and then from there, that documentation comes in, you're, Part five, then what I posted yeah. earlier, part five was effectively all your clearance, everything's done and dusted, 
And the only thing that's beyond that is then your, your tiling issue process, mm -hmm. which, is, which is effectively the survey general <coughs> drafting up the survey plan and, and making it official. Some people were casting aspersions in relation to, uh, everybody remembers Stephanie from stage 1A um, and, uh, and how she was involved in, uh, in our um, uh, sending out the uh, information process and she's continued to do that on the discussion group which is fantastic. The, uh, there was aspersions cast around that, that we need to get involved in this process and ring everybody and do a contact, uh, contact agencies and contact government, do all this and that's going to help the process. The fact of the matter is, there's nothing even you can do to rush the process. Okay, I'll, 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 yeah. tell, you, I'll tell you, practically speaking, Mike and I want the titles to issue as soon as possible as much as any other purchase as possible. Absolutely. And same as you guys, because we get paid. We get paid at that point, you know? <laughs> yeah. So we're all chasing it as hard as we can. I mean, we, we literally work from day to day working with the story to just make that happen, okay? Mm. So a, a purchaser going on their own behalf to speak to, to I know some, a couple of names are raised on, on that site uh, in government, to go and contact them directly takes their time away from our project to, to be able to pr progress that documentation process. Mm. So to make things easier, let the process roll out. I know it's. I know you're. You're. You know. You're excited. Frustrating. Yeah. No, it's yeah. frustrating. It's yeah. the same for us. We, yeah. we, we know. We we trying to do the best we can, and there's things that there's obstacles that we have to work through, and, and, and we're doing that as best we can. Yeah. It's it's interesting that uh, that somebody I noticed somebody on Facebook commented Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, we are working with Greek developers, so perhaps it's you know something more like the what's in in Greece the the, the ruins that are there. The <laughs> oh, I don't know. That wasn't built in a day anyway. No, the, he said the Colosseum. No, no, that's true. Thank you, Mecca. <laughs> I didn't say that too. <laughs> yeah, we stayed away from that one. Mate. Now, Mike. Now you okay. had uh, you had two briefs today. You're going to talk about the playground. I did already. And you're going to talk about titles. Okay, I'll talk about it again. Okay. So the titles are here. Mm -hmm. So now contact your conveyances, doesn't matter, you don't have to, we've already contacted them, so they're, they're sorting out your, your side, um, but you can certainly contact them but if you have any more specific questions, basically in 21 days from today, uh, your conveyance will be coming to settlement, we'll hand over a title, it's not a physical title, it's a... Um, and then the playground I already spoke about, so really excited, um, that'll be ready... Uh, it's still a little bit more, you can see that the works are nearly done um, from a playground stand. What we still got to do is finish off the landscaping and you know, finish off all the bits and bits and pieces. Um, it's coming together well, so another month or two will be all probably, wrapped up. Probably one thing I want to address as well um, is uh, at one stage on, uh, on Facebook, uh, I was criticised for making light of, of people's plight, I suppose, you know, in relation to changed financial conditions, lending um, situations, all that sort of stuff. Certainly not my, um, not my thoughts out there that I was making light of it. I like to try and make a joke of everything if I can to get away from the reality. I mean, geez, you know, I've got uh, two ex-wives and you know, sometimes you have to laugh about this stuff. But the, the situation, situation that's out there, as developers, you're extremely concerned about people's situation. Um, I mean, it's not, it's not something you want to, you want to obviously push this stuff through because it's in your best interest to get paid. But each individual person that is that is out there looking to build a home, you hope that they can get their financing structured and sorted and move forward with what it is they want to do. Well, we know that's the case. and we're very conscious that uh, we know that banks, you know, when, when it comes to the applications and they have to, and you, and you have to put your application again after a certain amount of time, um, and that's why we do every, we bust our gut to try and get everything um, titled as quickly as possible. So yeah, I mean, it's 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 in everybody's interest to. Wrap it up, get done, get the builders going, and move into the new house as quickly as possible. This whole estate has been designed, and I know when Adams um, out there, Mac is out there selling uh, the the property, he gets no more kick out of it than than uh, when somebody turns around and says, "Hey, this is my first home, and I'm so excited about my family moving into it, etc." <coughs> Mike is Mike is a family man. Um, Hermanus, you know, he's yet to show that he has the ability to be a family man, <laughs> and uh, me, I'm a you know continuous divorcee. But the situation that we've got there is, you guys are very keen to see people realising their dreams, and that, uh, and I mean, it is absolutely terrible when financial positions change, people lose jobs, etc. We empathise with all that sort of stuff. We're trying to do our best to deliver stuff that you guys can actually build your dream home on and get into a fabulous site. Absolutely. Well, I'll, I'll put it in perspective. I mean, the, the, the last 
I'd say three, four months, we've, we've been working very hard to set up the, the time frames and our planning for, for the coming years. So that during the course of, of the end of this year, next year, and the year after that, we know exactly what we need to deliver at what point so that we can make sure that there's an, enough land available for people to come and purchase land that's not too far from titling. You know, mm -hmm. So that we can make sure they don't have these issues with the 90 days that, that the banks are, are, are giving in for pre approvals. Uh, and also, just, just on, on another light in terms of families, um, we are designing the next stages now and, 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 and re looking at the overall master plan to make sure we've got enough amenities there for, for the families, make sure there's enough facilities for them to go to. So there's some exciting stuff on the horizon, mm -hmm. some of we can't obviously disclose just yet because we haven't got the proof for those. It's not formally approved yet. That's right. Yeah. So as soon as we can, we will bring those to you guys. Um, you know, you guys can obviously through this forum maybe, maybe disclose those. Um, and then, you know, but, but what we can talk about right now is, is, is our park and our display village. You know? yeah. So display village, is, as you may have noticed, there's half the houses already up. Um, yeah, we're hoping, hoping mm -hmm. by the end of this year we can have an open day where we have all the display homes open and, you know, we'll invite all the existing purchases. You know, we'll have a, have a fun day for the kids, you know, and then same will go for the parks. You know, yeah. have a big open day so we can formally launch that park and we can enjoy ourselves underneath the, the, the shade of the trees. Okay. One of the criticisms of these vlogs is they go too long at times, so I don't want to uh, head down that path. Is there anything you just wanted to say, Mike? You can fast forward it. can fast forward it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, through the bits that I talk about. <laughs> but, uh, anything more that you wanted to say? No, look, um, so we're working on it. I like, like I said, future stages. Um, it's coming up. <coughs> we'll, we'll be back with more information soon. Now, I absolutely guarantee you, Hermanus, before we jump offline, A1, B1, we're going to get the question, no changes in time frame of delivery since the last vlog? No, I've got a program. Yeah. Obviously, I don't like to give definite dates in it because it always in, in, in end up changing. Um, we are still looking for a third quarter, four forty this year. Okay, good. Yeah. So, so end of third, start of fourth. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what we reported last yeah, time. That's as well. exactly right. All right. Thank you guys for coming along. Thank you very much, guys, for your input. It's a very happy day. Title stay, twenty-one days. Get your builder on the go. Welcome to Aspire. Welcome to Aspire. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>